As a kid, my biggest dream was always to go to space. But as time's gone on, that dream seems more and more out of reach. Because who has that type of money laying around? I know I don't. But I think I know a way around that. So I've been seeing all these guys send weather balloons up to space. And it sparked an idea in my head that couldn't I go to space? if I was attached to the weather balloon. So I got to Photoshop, <laughs> like any sane person would. So I stayed up all night making what I thought would be the best representation of myself going to space. And I think I might've came up with just the thing, but let's actually get out to the desert where we're actually gonna launch the balloon. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so tomorrow morning is a launch. So we're gonna try to prep everything tonight. I still need to assemble everything and get it to the extent of what I need this thing to look like before launching it tomorrow. But yeah, we are in the middle of nowhere. Um, so that's the only reason like it allows to permit to actually launch something like this to space and back because we will be in the middle of the desert. So I am going to send it to space. So I'll check in with you guys when we get there. We're both super antsy about, <laughs> about getting there because Allie doesn't think, she really doesn't think it's gonna, it's gonna work. I am 100% confident, but a couple of my other friends were like, dude, you can't, you're not gonna be able to do that. The balloons will not keep, so it's gonna work. Okay, I'll see you guys there. So I'm gonna try to lay out kind of exactly what I wanna kind of build for tomorrow. I feel like it's gonna be a little more complicated than I was even envisioning, so let's kind of see how things are gonna lay out. 60 camera. We have a bunch of different cables. Basically, string everything up. I'm gonna have the parachute. So we're gonna take the parachute from the 360. Potentially, we will balloon on top. Like this is the only thing I'm worried about. This is pretty light. This is pretty light too, so I think the ratio will be enough. Yeah, well I think that's it, so I think we'll be ready in the morning. So we're gonna get to sleep and we're gonna finish getting everything ready in the morning, so I'll see you guys then. I right, turn this off. Mm. Oh my gosh, dude. It is too early. But that sunset is insane. Mm. So I'm putting this screw nut really tight on the back of the 360 camera. It'll be the very bottom thing that hangs with everything above it. So the only thing I need to figure out is how to attach the tracker because the tracker is such a big thing in this process. So this is our only hope. It's an air tag. So, I mean, we are tracking keys, that's for sure. So, so we're just adding the finishing. It's next morning, it is launch day. And we, we, I really did rig this up pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. We have the Instant 360 tracker right here. All of it looped into the parachute that's gonna catch itself. And then obviously the picture of me on the moon that has technically been to space after this video. So, gotta do what you gotta do. So we're gonna need some helium in the balloon, attach it to this, and as we go up, this is what we'll see. So, um, let's do it. So we're not gonna need these balloons. We're gonna show you the difference in size between this balloon I got and this, because it's a crazy difference. Yes, I know, this looks sketch, but is the only helium tank I was able to get. So I got these massive balloons. Um, they're not weather balloons, no, but I think they'll do the job, honestly. I think they do. So just to show you guys for comparison, here's a regular balloon, and here's the balloons I got. So I don't think we'll need more than three of these, honestly. Um, but we're gonna fill as much as the helium can actually go into. So I think three should be good, but once again, have to see. Um, okay. You can't just like knot them. You can actually use this type of rope. Yeah, we don't let out any of these. There we go. That's an empty tank and a balloon. 
so we got the last balloon filled. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. So now we're gonna rig them up now. These are the, this is all the helium we have to work with. So we're gonna use these three and see what we can do. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, this is the final step. So I created a system where I think this is gonna be the best way to do it. We had the balloons, that's half of the rig, right? And then we had the parachute and the 360 can, that's the other half. This is gonna be the bonding too, to basically release it. So the balloons are gonna explode up there. And what I thought is we're gonna use this little bend right here as a way to basically spin around and use it as a pulley system. So there's tension here, but when the balloons pop and there's no more tension, it should release and be able to slowly fall out to actually use the parachute. It's kind of a risky concept, but at this point, it's the only other thing I can think of. So that's what we're going with. I'm not gonna tie a knot around it. I'm not gonna risk that because the knot probably will not release. So. Okay guys, so um, I can't tell this is just actually how I talk, but um, just a little bit higher. Guys, we're about to do the launch. And the most important thing is, of course, we have the picture right on front. So if it does get lost in space or an astronaut finds it or whatever the case may be, at least my picture will be up there. So I have technically been to space. So let's see. Oh goodness, there it goes. Bye, mini me. Oh my goodness. There it goes. It's up there. Okay, I don't see the balloons at all anymore. They're gone, gone. So we're gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna start pulling out the tracker and then see how far this thing actually gets and see if we can actually go and get it because right now it's going towards the mountains, which would be very hard to get it. So we're gonna try to see, hopefully it lands next to a road in public property so we don't have to go on anyone's land or any of that. The safest possible route it could go. So let's pull out the trackers and see what we can find. Okay, so um, we got cleaned up Literally within like an hour, the balloon is already lost. So I don't know, we're only using an air tag, so maybe that's why like an air tag almost needs to be on the ground because the second it left, it lost connection. So this is where it was like an hour ago. And now it's still saying the same exact location that we launched it from. I don't think you need a phone or service to have an air tag. I didn't think you did, but it was definitely going this way because it went over like the mountains and everything this way so the best that we can do is wait it out see if it pops back on we're going to start driving that way and hope for the best my picture better made it to space that's all i'm trying to do the picture has to make it there okay let's go because we really need to book it so we're still out here looking this last track at 9:18. That's what it basically was telling us, that the balloon never left where we originally were. So we had gone the direction that we saw it drifting because the wind was like about like a three miles per hour wind. And this is the only place that it would be. And we've been searching here for hours. And I don't, I mean, we both don't know how long we can possibly be looking that much longer for because the balloon is not anywhere to be found. And I don't know, it's about to get dark. We're both tired from walking around had blisters and I don't know. I mean, you find anything? I don't know guys, this might be a bust. This might be a bust, I just don't know. I knew I should not have put an air tag on it. I mean, I don't know. Does an air tag not track where things go on land? Like that's why it doesn't make any sense to me unless they like went in like a canal or something. Cause I don't know, it makes no sense. This is so bad. This is so bad. Seriously, what, what should we do? I got them all like. Oh my god, oh my god, look. This is in someone's backyard. Oh my god. You guys will have no idea what 
just happened. We're literally driving back right now. We looked all yesterday. We're like, the video is a complete bust down. We're, we're not gonna find it, like it's, it's done. Out of nowhere, it pings. 30 minutes out of San Antonio, which we were already gonna be driving through. It made it all the way to San Antonio. That's like five plus hours away. So, I guess we're going to San Antonio. <laughs> we're going, we're finding this thing, so. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, we're gonna check it when we get there because we have to find it. The only thing is it's showing it's in someone's backyard, so the best thing we can do is knock on their door or like look around and see if we can find it, but we can't just like hop their fence, there's no way, so. Yeah, we're going, we'll see you there because we're gonna find this thing. I hope we find this thing. We're about an hour out and I just got another update from the balloon and it shifted over into this kind of bunch of trees so it's not actually in someone's backyard, I think. I think this might be easier for us to actually to get. So before, it was in this person's like right by their house, and now it's showing that it's gonna be kind of in this little bunch of trees, which will be way better, like safer, and hopefully it landed very plushly in the trees. So hopefully we'll have everything there. So we'll update you guys when we get there. I'm very nervous that either someone got the balloon, or they threw it away, or stole the camera. I have no clue. So we're gonna find out right now, so uh, let's get there. We are four minutes away. We are both so anxious to find this thing. So it is a little bit darker than we were thinking. It's right at dusk right now, so we have to find it very quick, but we're not gonna find it at all because it's gonna be dark in maybe 15 minutes, and we're three minutes away. So um, yeah, we have to find this thing. We are going to find it. Okay, let's get it. We are this close to it. We are almost there. Okay, slow down right here. It, should, it said these trees right here. It's a freaking forest. Oh, of course. Oh my goodness, You're look how joking. crazy this is. How would it land here? Oh my goodness, the only place we cannot even go in. Shit. You think you can get your drone up really quick and see? Because I'm gonna look out here. You see if you can get it up really quick. Oh. It's saying it's literally right over here. I don't see it in here either. It's a balloon, so I think you'd for sure be able to see it. There's no way. Okay, Ali's putting her drone up right now to see if we can see it from over top. Cause we have about like, maybe 10 more minutes before we're not gonna be able to find it anymore. Okay, we're gonna see what she sees it. It's our last option right here. It said it was over this area, over here. But yeah, I'll check kind of broadly. Okay, so she can't find it. This is what I was worried about. Not being able to actually recover it because it says it's here. But I mean, there's literally no way of finding it. Like, we're not gonna get through this. There's just no way. She has the drone up. She has a drone up here. I mean, I don't know, guys. I mean, you just can't walk through that. Even with the machete, you couldn't get through that. My phone is saying, we are literally looking straight at it. I mean, this, like, this is it. And it is nowhere to be found. Okay, guys, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. We've looked the past 30 minutes trying to find it and nothing. Um, so, the air tag says it's here, it's not, and it could be a glitch, it could be deep in here we'll never find it but so did it ever actually make it to space i guess we'll never know but i promise you i will i will make it i don't care how many tries it takes i will i will get there damn dude so close you were so close <laughs> 